Hi everyone and welcome to another video on the Arcade Manager add-on for new Retro Arcade. It's been a while since I've done uh, a video on this but um, I think it's time now to share some of the new features in version 2.03 um, and some of the features I'm quite excited about because we've now got the ability to scan ROMs and create artwork um, for anything that's missing in your ROM collection. So some really neat features that we've uh, added in there. So we've also put together a user manual which has uh, been requested by a number of people in the community and this is really gives you an in-depth uh, guide on, on all the different features within, within the tool. So you see here as soon as you install the latest version you'll have a shortcut on the desktop which is for the user manual. You just double click to open it and it opens up in any PDF uh, browser or viewer. Um, so, so yeah, this is a quick introduction and you can see all the different features. So it tells you about how to install it, getting started, all the different property definitions, um, filtering criteria, search functions, different import options, which I'm going to go over some of them today. Um, a little bit about the advanced features as well because some of you may not know but you can actually make uh, manual adjustments in, C in the CSV files without having to actually use the front end. Um, you can use specify command line arguments and there's a whole section on the favourites and some tips and tricks and uh, FAQs and then just some acknowledgements for all the people who have contributed towards the add-on. So you can, you can go through that at your own your own leisure but there's um, there's a lot of content to it so it tells you about all the key bits of functionality um, yeah so anyway so I'll close that just now and we'll go back to the main add-on as you can see here looks very similar to the last release and um, this time I'm going to click on the standard cabinets let me just turn this down slightly The video starts playing but basically in here there's a few new features you'll notice now we've got these these buttons here for the download and the artwork wizard creator options and these are particularly great for missing name roms so if i'm going to add a new rom in here and i'm going to browse for it and i've got it on my desktop just to make life easier so a new rom and it's Golden Tea Golf, so if I double click that, it copies it automatically over to the directory, and you'll see now I can start filling in the rest of the features. So, in here, we've got so if I pick the correct um, emulator, and now instead, I don't actually have the game image file for this, this ROM. If I press this download game image file, it automatically downloads the image. Now that's now available on the in the correct folder. I don't have to do any more than that. That's it now in there. Um, the button layout um, doesn't really matter, but um, I'm just going to pick any one here. I'm just going to go with 720 layout. Um, just make the buttons black. Now you see here we've got the artwork front texture. Again, I don't have that for this particular ROM. But what I can do is I can use the artwork wizard to create it. Now before I do that, I want to specify a couple of the import options. I want to make sure that it's going to produce the artwork the way I want it. So if I go into import options here, and then look at the front panel artwork color, you'll see that that's currently set to black. I'm going to make it green. It's a golf game, so I want it green. I want the side colour to be green. And I want the marquee colour. Well, in this case, I'm hoping there'll be artwork, so this maybe isn't so relevant. But I'll leave the marquee colour white. So what this will do is it will set the colour of the artwork, uh, sorry, the label at the top of the marquee to whatever colour you specify in here. I'll leave that as, as is it for the moment. And we'll go back and then what we'll do is we'll hit this wizard creator 
little magic wand. So let's press that. And you'll notice it's generated one. Now what does that actually look like? Well let's let's click in. There we go. So you'll see it's now given the green background and um, for the artwork and it's now put the banner across the top. I have not done anything all, um, in terms of creating any artwork for this file. The, the arcade manager's just created that piece of artwork for me. So we can leave the, the front panel uh, blank, the colour for it. See, the side panel texture, I don't actually have one, but so I'm going to specify um, the side panel colour. I'm going to make that green as well. Perfect. Now, we've got the attract screen video. Again, like before, I don't have the video on my machine. But if I press this download button, I'm hoping it's going to download the, the video. And sure enough, it does. And there it starts playing the attract video automatically for me. Now, these, these functions here work for any meme ROM. Just about any meme ROM you should find a corresponding video. If you don't find one, it'll, it'll warn you and tell you that that's the case. Again, I can specify a fixed location if I want. Encode, Xcode, etc. So what I'm just going to do is uh, save that. Perfect. And what I can now do is preview it. So let's launch it. This will open up the game to let me test out the ROM, make sure it's working. And there we go, there's our new cabinet. Superb. Looks great. Looks really, really good. I'm pleased with that. Let's see if it actually works. And sure enough, it does. Perfect. Excellent. So yeah, really, really good. Really pleasing. Looks the part. Brilliant. Okay. Escape out of that. So perfect. So that's that's it now ready to go. I can assign that to a fixed location if I want, and that game will now appear appear in New Retro Arcade. Okay. So so really nice features. Really well done. Now we can take this a little bit further. If we go back to the import options, you'll see here there's a whole raft of different options in here that allow you to scan your ROM directory and specify, you know, and basically automatically create all the different artwork for all your whole ROM collection. So by pressing that button, it will take whatever settings you've filled in here and apply them. So, it'll, you know, you can specify the default button layout that you want. You can specify the button colors, the, the color of the, of the cabinet that you wish um, and all the kind of default levels you can specify that. Now in the case of um, the golden tea one that we saw there, there was actually a marquee image that was automatically downloaded. Now not all ROMs have a corresponding marquee image so you know it, if, if nothing's available, what it'll do is it'll display the text for that particular image. So you can specify the colour of that text that you want to appear. You can also decide whether or not actually you just want it to, to create it for the ones that do have uh, you know, the, the image available. You may also only want it to do it for parent ROM so you don't end up with duplicates in there. And you can specify whether or not you want to download the attract screens, videos and the game images. Depending on the size of your ROM collection, depends on how long this process will actually take. If you've got about 800 ROMs, for example, you might want to just leave it running for because it will download all the different videos for it, and it and it will take it quite a while to run and generate it. Um, a little note as well: when you're scanning it, there's not an easy way to quit and to cancel it. So do be aware of that. That it's um, it will just continue to run for, for quite some time. So the other exciting feature that we've got in here is the import Launchbox arcade games. 
So what this will do is if I launch, if I open up launch box, and we'll just let that load up, you can import games from launch box. So you see here I've got my ROM library in here. Lots and lots of ROMs. Update. Um, you know, and basically each one of these has got different bits of artwork associated with it and all the game images and if you've got it hooked up to AMU uh, movies then it will have all the attract videos so what, what what I've actually done is created an option in here which will let you import all the games that are in your launch box library straight into the arcade manager to do that you hit the import option and again it'll give you this warning because it will copy a lot a lot of data it will create a lot of files and it can potentially download them as well so it'll still attempt to download anything that's missing so it, we can continue on that and then what it does is it asks you to browse for your launch box directory so in my case it's on my e drive launch box where are you in here and then just specify the exe. And what that does then is it'll scan everything that's in here and automatically generate the artwork for that. Now I'm not going to do that process today because it takes quite a while to run. One thing you need to be aware of at the moment you have to manually copy over your ROM files to the arcade manager, eh, sorry, the new retro arcade ROMs directory. It's just something to be aware of. I deliberately haven't copied them across um, because for you know because of the size of the files it's created I leave that down to yourself so you know you, you just copy your ROMs across to New Retro Arcade to make them available and um, this will go through scan all this lot and uh, and create all the different artwork for it and the end result I'll show you an example of what that looks like I go back up and I go to in here so it looks something like this you can see these are the ones that don't have the images so in this case I've made them all red you know but this is this is just one I've done before and um, scanned them all in so this is basically everything that's in in the launch box it just went through it all and created all the different bits of artwork for it so yeah pretty cool yeah, quite powerful what you can do the other thing to note as well is anything that's oh, let me just cancel that anything that's already in here will be ignored so you don't have to worry about it duplicating ROMs that already exist so that's handy to know as well but yeah all in all really excited about this version love to, he to hear feedback on what everyone thinks of the new features um, and yeah, yeah. If you if you like, then please consider subscribing to the videos and uh, and joining in the conversation on the the Steam forums. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.